So hey everybody, this is a 1v1 battle on Grassy Flight Lens. I've been doing a lot of this lately. I've been, I, lately what's kind of cool is I've been viewing all of my Napoleon play as just kind of practice. And it kind of frees you up. It makes you a little lighter of spirit when you go into it. But that, that's what's going on with me. I hope everybody else is doing well. Uh, this is me. If you happen to know a guy named Joslyn, then this build should look pretty familiar. It's been really successful for me over the last two days, so I, I just keep using it. And um, today's lesson is going to be about the importance of diversity in your build. It's going to be about the importance of having a balanced army with some light infantry and some regular infantry and, and some cav. And the object lesson for today it happens to be my opponent, this guy's name is Field Marshal Von Blucher, and he's wearing the tag IRLS. Not familiar with that, but um, whatever. The important thing to note about Von Blucher's build is, besides the fact that he's GB, is that the only thing he has is line infantry. That's all he's got. Now, he's got some very nice line of dream. I mean, there's a foot guard that's he's got a bunch of Highland foot. I think if you bring Highland foot, you're supposed to melee charge, right? That's what you're supposed to do with them. Oh, there's a foot guard. More Highland foot. More Highland foot. He really likes the Highland foot. Foot guard. Foot guard. Yeah, anyway, this guy has a lot of rather high-quality line of tree. He does have one single cav unit, which is what he's put his general in. That's a horse guard. They're not really going to be relevant to the battle. And so um, I, I'm watching this, and kind of what was going through my mind was, well, okay, well, um, A, this guy doesn't have any cav or lights or anything, so I run my lights up, I, I figure, hell, I'll kite on you. You give me, you, I mean, give me the chance, I'll do it, I'm not too proud. It's also just probably the right thing to do. Um, and he's also a little more narrow than I am, so I'm doing my envelopment thing, and, and this guy just has line, so, generally, I'd prefer to be attacking, but I'm like, well, I mean, this guy has to come to me. I outrange him. So, I, I'm like, I'll sit here. I'll do that. I'll do that one time. I mean, if you make me, I'll do it. And um, so, I got some cav on the side. I've got uh, my guys wrapped around, and he kind of runs up just outside of musket range. I'm still moving guys over here. Oh, and we move to engage. This is the engagement. I'm not really sure where to put the camera. I don't... Oh, I start a cap charge over here. No, I don't. Sorry. I just totally effed with you. But I do move a line unit into kind of an aggressive position behind him. Over here, I believe I do cap charge. And I really get in there good. Those foot guards are down to 50 guys already. Foreman Square over there, not too relevant. Oh, look at those foot guards go. And we've already routed the first unit on this flank. This is so good for me because... Look at these two line units that are just going to do something like come up here. I get uh, my cav out with, uh, oh, I send a Beckett. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I told them to target somebody. Why does cav always do that? You tell your cav to target somebody, and they're just like, hey, there's a square. That looks cool. And they, they just run into the nearest square. I don't, I don't get it. Um, but obviously over here, I'm doing pretty good because these guys are stuck in square, and I'm going to shoot the fuck out of them. About this time, I actually remember that I have Janissaries. Um, he does a pretty smart move. He countercharges my Janissaries. Good move. But what it does do is it takes these two um, guys out of firing. So my line here are going to have a temporary firepower advantage. And I think my Janissaries actually route there. Yeah. Wait. Ooh, both of oh, Okay. Well, that's a trade. I'll take that trade. And you can see also over here, I've routed his, his far two units. So I'm just moving on up. And I, I, I mean, I've got guys behind him. He does kind of the only reasonable thing left to do. Well, I oh, I thought he was just going to melee everybody there. That, that's probably what he should have done. He just keeps... Because I kept creeping my lights back. And so um, he just kind of keeps creeping his line up. Uh, you know? this I maybe should not have... Well, okay, the reason I made the replay is because everybody needs to know how important having Gav is. Um, this battle turned out to be really boring. It was a lot more interesting when I played it. It required a little quick micro and everything, but... Oh, yeah. Maybe not so much. The, in the replay, it doesn't look nearly as interesting as it was when I played it. Anyway, so, to recap, if you don't have lights, y your, y your opponent... Y excuse me, if you don't have lights, then your opponent can kind of draw you in to where they want to draw you in. If you don't have cav, then 
they're going to charge the fuck out of you, which is exactly what I did. And, um... I, did, did I even lose an infantry unit? I'm not really sure I lost an infantry unit in this battle. I mean, a couple of my cav routed. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, that that's how devastating it can be if you don't bring a balanced army. And I play guys every now and then who, like, light spam or whatever, and... The, it, it's just so easy. You got to bring a balanced army. It's really important. And, and check this out. I mean, enemy killed. I killed fourteen hundred people. He killed four hundred. Or I killed thirteen hundred people. He killed four hundred. You know. I mean, that that was a massive crush. And, and I imagine this guy is a decent player. But um, got to bring a balanced army. There you go. Check us out at tdbreplays.com.